Hi everybody. Today I'm here to give you a brief introduction to Google Slides in order to familiarize you with some of the basic features included in the software. So here's a presentation that I've already started. You can start a new presentation from your drive by clicking on New and choosing Slides. You can see that I've already got some text in these slides, so let's take a look at how to add transitions and animations to our slides. To get started, click on the transition button that's up here on the toolbar next to theme. As you can see, I currently have no transitions applied to my slides. To add these, use the drop down menu to select a transition type. So I'm going to select fades, and then we'll have to select a duration, which I will place at medium. Then you have to decide if you want the transition style to apply to just this slide, or to all of your slides. I'm going to apply it to all of them. From here, adding animations is a breeze. Just click on a text box on your slide, and then click on the Add Animation button over here. Now I'm going to choose Fly In. You can also decide what you want to trigger your animation. I'm going to choose On Click. This will make the animation trigger for everything in the text box at once when I click. However, to make this happen for each paragraph in the text box, just check off By Paragraph. You have to choose a duration again, which I will also set to medium. Now let's see what this looks like by hitting play. I'm going to start the animation, then click once, then again, and one more time to complete the process. That looks good to me, so next let's go see what it might look like if we have multiple text boxes in the slide. It's a very similar slide, but instead of having all of the text inside a single text box, I've placed the lines each in their own separate text box. So I'll select the first one and then click on Add Animation. This time I want it to zoom out, but I'll leave everything else like I did before. For the next text box, I'm going to add a spin, and then for the final one, I think I'll add a fade in. Let's see what this looks like. As you can see, as I click through the presentation, we get each of the separate animation effects that we set up, one at a time as we continue to click. Now let's go to our next slide. Here you can see I've started a rough flowchart that I'd like to add to using shapes. So you can do this by either going to the Shape button here, or up to the Insert menu and choosing Shapes. So I want to add a second arrow, so I'm going to select that and add it in. Adding animations to your shapes is the exact same process, so I'm going to skip ahead to where I've already done that, just to show you what it looks like. As you can see, as I click, my animations trigger on each shape. Now let's add a slide. You do this by clicking on this plus button, or you can click on the arrow beside it and choose the specific layout of the slide. So I'm going to insert a title slide. Next, let's add an image to the slide. You can do this with this button here, or you can go to the Insert menu and choose Image. There are multiple ways to add an image, including from a URL, drag and dropping from your desktop, through a search, or from your Google Drive. I'm going to use an image out of my drive here, so I'm just going to select the image and then insert it. I'm then going to resize it, and now I'm happy with it. Next, let's create another new page. Now let's add a video to this page. We'll click Insert, and then Video, and we can now search for a video on YouTube right from this interface. I'm going to skip forward where you can see that I've found a video I like, and I'm going to insert it into the video. When we actually play the presentation, a play button will appear for the video. Next, let's add another page, and to this one I want to add a table. So let's select Insert and choose Table. You have to select the size of table that you want, so I'm going to insert a 4x2 table, and then fast forward to where I've got some text inserted in the table. Now that that's done, let's head back up to some of those original slides we were working on. A really great feature in slides is the ability to link text to other slides within your presentation. So I'm going to choose some text here, and then choose to insert a link. You'll notice that we have some options as to where we want to link to, and I'm going to choose to link to this specific slide. This is a great feature to include in presentations where you might be working with other people, because they can just click on an internal link in the presentation and skip right to a given slide. Since we're talking about collaboration, another great tool in slides is the amount of collaborative tools you have within the program. So I'm going to click on the share link up here. You can see that right now the presentation is private, and I'm the only one who can view it. So I'm going to invite a coworker to the document and give them access to edit it. Now that I've shared it, I can tell when my coworker is working on the document, because I will see their icon appear at the top of the screen here. 
In addition, if I want to chat with my collaborator, all I have to do is click on this chat icon and a real-time chat window will appear. Another way you can collaborate with others is by inserting a comment. You can do this by going to Insert and choosing Comment, and then typing out your comment. Being able to add comments tied to specific slides or content is great, because it allows your collaborators to see exactly what you're referring to in your comment, so you can work together on a specific issue. I also know that when I'm working on a presentation, I like to add notes in the Notes section. You can see that I have a note here, but when I want to present this, there's a way that I can get the notes while I'm actually giving my presentation. When you go to present, click on the drop-down menu and choose Present with Speaker Notes. In this view, you can see your speaker notes, the slide you're currently on, and the next one. You can also see how long you've been on a particular slide. So this is just a general overview of the basic features within Google Slides. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.